hotel room is worth one dollar. Ew. And this hotel is worth 10,000, 100,000, and even one million dollars. Me and my friend Austin are going to be staying one night in these hotel rooms, but only one of us can stay at the 15 million dollar hotel. Now, Guido, to decide who stays in the one dollar room first, we are going to have an arm wrestling contest. Ooh, awesome! Bring it, Steve! Yeah, yeah, come on! Come on, Steve! I don't want to stay in that hotel! Oh, I'm trying my best, buddy! Do you really think I want to stay in that stinky, disgusting hotel? I've heard it's full of garbage and cockroaches! What? That sounds disgusting! I... got to leave! No! You've got to be kidding me! <laughs> Guess you're staying in the stinky room! Oh! Now Austin gets to start in the $500,000 room! All right, here we are at the $1 hotel. I mean, how bad could it really be? It could be really bad, Thieves. Wow, Guido, you've brought, like, some protection and everything. Okay, let's see what we've got going on here. Oh. My. Gosh, this is absolutely disgusting! Oh, there are flies everywhere! And as I walk around, oh, can you hear that squelching noise? Ew, ew, ew! There's cockroaches all over the ground! Probably to do with all this trash that's been dumped here. Okay, we've got a, a toilet without much privacy here. I mean, there is literally an open door right there, complete with more flies. And I think over there in the corner is my bed. We just gotta wade through all of this, ugh, all of this garbage right here to get to it. Guido, I am not gonna lie, this is pretty much unlivable. But to move on to the next hotel, we have to accomplish a challenge. We're gonna have to clear this entire place out of garbage. Uh, that's gonna take forever. Yeah, well, don't worry. Austin also has a challenge. And you never know, theirs could be worse than mine. While my journey to the $15 million hotel started at the $1 room, across the dimension, Austin began their stay at the $500,000 hotel. Steve said this room was worth 500... 500 a lot of money welcome austin i am jeeves your private butler oh my gosh your name is jeeves best hotel ever <clears throat> yes quite let me show you to your room your private suite with luxury bathtub and exquisite views of the city wow jeeves this is amazing i can't believe i got to stay here for free that's the thing austin you don't pull a fight Ooh. Oh. Whoa! Steve, it sounds like it's getting pretty heated over there! Oh, Austin must have started that first challenge! Come on! If we want to progress to the next hotel, we've got to clear this place out before Austin finishes whatever it is they're doing. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. Come on, one more piece of trash! Oh. Yeah! That's what you get when you mess with the Bill Fight Champion! Looks like you both finish your challenges at the exact same time! That means you both get to progress to your next hotel! For Austin, it's the $750,000 hotel! And for us, Steve, it's the $10 one! Oh, $10? Are you kidding me? $10 hotel! Here we go! Wait, Guido, it's supposed to be right here! Um... It is right here, Steve. Oh my gosh, that's my hotel room? I mean, this isn't even really a room. There's no walls, no roof, no nothing. I mean, let's see what we've got going on here. Let's go check this out. We've got a couch, which I guess is an improvement on the last place. We've got a toilet, which is cleaner than the last one we saw. And we've got a TV, which currently doesn't work because it is submerged by water. Oh man. And Guido, did I mention that this is super dangerous? I mean, we're right on the edge of a lake here. What if we like float away? Oh, don't worry about that. Steve, this rope is keeping us secure. Oh, well, that's just perfect, isn't it? We've got this one tiny measly rope. The only thing stopping us from drifting out to sea. Just perfect. <sighs> I wonder what Austin's hotel is like. That's right, Cheese. Drive me to my next hotel or I'll get the pillow out again. Okay, okay. We're almost there, Austin. Whoa! A floating hotel? This is awesome! Show me around. Yes, well, as you can see, this hotel is situated on its own private lake. You have a private master bedroom, hot tub for those cold nights out on the lake, and last but not least, the weapons room. Ooh, so many weapons! But, jeez, why would I need this much? Well, this is a private lake, so you need weapons to fend off intruders. Dude, how the heck do I get this TV? Whoa! Hey! Uh, Guido, what happened to the rope? It must have snapped! Oh, no, 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 no! Now this thing is drifting out to the middle of the lake! Oh, gosh! Hey! Stay away from my hotel room! What the? Is that Austin? 
Why are they firing rockets at me? I don't know, Steve. It looks like they're really mad. Oh, this is crazy. Austin! Austin, stop. I'm not your enemy. Wait, is that Steve? You're trying to sabotage me? Sabotage? What? No, I want that 15 gazillion trillion hotel room. Oh, come on, dude. I had no idea you were going to be here. Whoa! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so long, Steve. <sighs> that means I'm one step closer to the ultimate hotel room. And you've got to stop off at an extra stinky one. Is that right? I could have continued progressing to the next one. But now I've got to take an extra extra step and stop off at this $500 hotel. Ugh. All right, buddy, here we are, the $500 a night hotel. Um, I mean, at least there's an actual room this time. You know, we may be in the middle of absolutely nowhere, and this may be quite sinister, but we're not in the middle of a lake. We don't have anyone firing rockets at us. All is well. Okay, room number eight. Oh, Guido, what is it with squelchy floors today? This is disgusting. <gasps> what the? Um, Steve, there's someone in our bed. Yeah, there's not just one person in this room. There's another one right there. Uh, I don't hear them breathing. And look at the floor, Steve. Someone spilled ketchup everywhere. Oh, Guido, I don't think that's ketchup. Oh, my gosh. Not only is this guy stolen our room, but I think he's a... Murderer! Huh? What was that? Is someone there? <gasps> oh my gosh, I gotta hide, I've gotta hide! Uh, in here! Guido, keep your voice down. Uh, I couldn't sleep anyway. Well, at least I've got something to pass the time. Oh no! Well, Guido, I know this is a really bad situation, but let's uh, let's think about the room for a bit. We got a nice private bed, uh, a couple of couches. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, I know this really isn't the time. Come on, and you. Oh no! He's gonna evict him. Oh my gosh! Help me, someone, please. Still got a long time till morning, so I'm gonna make this nice and slow. I don't... I think... Uh, maybe we could... Oh, I don't know, I don't know! Guido? Uh, yes, Steve? Hold on tight! <laughs> uh, lady, are you okay? Hey, he's getting up! Oh, no! Uh, uh, oh. Guido, do you think you could call the hotel maid? I think we need a clean up here. <sighs> Thank you so much! Hey, don't worry about it! But I do have to kick you out because this is my hotel room. All right, so now my stay at the $500 hotel can finally begin. We got the $10,000 a night hotel up next. Oh, but Austin is only one challenge away from getting to the $15 million hotel. Oh no, I wonder how they're doing. Wow, the $1 million hotel. Look at this pool party. I know I have an objective, but that can wait. Alright, we finally made it to the big leagues. This hotel is worth $10,000 a night. Why, you may ask? Because it's literally inside of a golf course. You know, Steve, I really think we should be careful. Someone might mistake me for a golf course. We know? Uh, oh, whatever. I've got more important things to focus on, like why haven't we got an objective yet? Okay, let's see what we've got going on here. Oh my gosh, it is so spacious, especially compared to the last hotel I was in. I mean, I guess there was like three people in there and one of them was a murderer and the other one was a corpse, but still a big improvement. We've got a nice little, whoa, look at this shower, dude. It's so big and spacious. The toilet is actually clean. Yep, yep, yep. This is definitely the best hotel I've been in so far. Anyway, I guess I better go find Guido, so let's Head back downstairs. Oh! Hey, new kid. Welcome to the hotel. I was wondering if I could interest you in a round of golf. Oh, uh, yeah, cool. Uh, I'm gonna have to pass for now. I'm actually looking for my friend Guido. Have you seen him? He's a robot, ball shaped. You might have hit him. No, oh, that's a shame. I really thought you'd be able to beat an old man like me, but you must be really bad at golf. Oh, this is my objective. This is how I progress. You're on, old man. I'm going to score so many slam dunks, you're not going to believe it. 
Um, is that the right spot? All right. This is how it's going to work. We each have three shots. Whoever gets their ball in the hole first wins. Oh, yeah? Wins what? A super special reward, of course. You go first. All right, if it's going to help me progress to the next hotel. Oh, all right, come on, Steve. You've got this. You can beat an old man. Whoa, look at that. Not bad. Now, watch this. Oh. Oh, better look next time, old timer. Psh, I knew this was going to be easy. There's my ball. And it looks like Austin is still stuck at the $1 million hotel. Oh, this is fantastic. What are they even doing? Well, whatever it is, I hope they keep going. Because I am going to catch up with the... Oh, man. Bit too much power on that one. Here we go again. Hey, that's still a bit better. But it's still not going to reach the... What the... Hey, that's the old guy's security team! They're carrying the ball to the flag for him! Nice job, boy! Ah! Dude, this is bad if the old man wins! I'm never gonna be able to progress to the next hotel! Okay, gotta nail this shot here. The flag is right there. So let's focus and... Come on, come on, come on! Yes! I did it! I won! Wow, old timer! That was way more difficult than I was expecting! Congratulations, son! Now, for your reward. Oh my gosh, it's a set of rusty old keys. Uh, thanks? That's right, the keys to my hotel. I own one across town worth 100,000 bucks. Wait, what? Steve, do you realize what that means? If you own the hotel, you can make an income. And if you can make an income, you might be able to buy a room in the So I could skip all of these hotels and beat Austin, yes! Thank you, old man! Okay, that was supposed to be a high five. I kind of forgot I had the golf club in my hands, but uh, uh, thanks! Well, Guido, here we are. This is the $100,000 a night hotel. As you can see, it's extended off the main city here. It's absolutely huge, and we own it. That means every person that uses these arcade machines and every single person that buys a slice of pizza or a burger is actually contributing to the progress towards that $15 million hotel room. But of course, that isn't a hotel's main form of income. Instead, we're going to be selling tickets to this line of people that are waiting to get inside. What the? How is that possible? I'm going to have to climb the hotel if I want to win. That's right, guys. Come on in. There's enough room for everyone. Just make sure you spend your hard-earned money. Almost there. That's right, everyone. We've got a bunch of super deluxe rooms ready to go. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Sergeant Shaw! That's right. And you are trespassing, Austin. You're under arrest. No! Yes, Guido, we did it! We sold every single room inside of that hotel, and as you can see, I have reached enough to get myself one night in the $15 million hotel. Yay! Wait, how do we get to the $15 million hotel? Well, Guido, we actually go... Huh. Well, Guido, there it is, the $15 million hotel. Let's go check out our room, I guess. All right, we got a bed, we got a chair. Eh, I think the view could be better, though. You have got to be kidding me. Introducing the official Checkpoint website. This is the central hub for every Checkpoint fan in the multiverse. Learn more about the heroes and villains, browse our latest merch drops, and create your very own Checkpoint characters to share with your friends. Link in the description. Have fun!